Okay. Hi, guys. It's uh, Jesse. So we are, we got this box in today. This is the January Loot Crate box. And I figured it out. It does look backwards on my end, but it is not in the videos. So we're going to do it on the computer again this month. Still waiting on December's. Um, I went ahead and spoiled myself, so I already pretty much know what's in the box. So you probably won't get much of a reaction from me in regards to it. Um, I messaged Loot Crate. They said that they were going to send out another box after a whole bunch of back and forth. Argument. Which basically <laughs> was back and forth saying the same shit over and over and over again. They said they're going to send out another one, but it'll take two to three weeks for it to ship. So I'm guessing you're probably going to see my February box before you see my December box. And then... February box will be it because I'm going to be canceling out. Um, like I did do one more Wizarding World box. We'll see how it goes. It might be my last Wizarding World box. We'll, I'm not completely certain right now. Thankfully, that's only every other month. So since they charged that for me this month, uh, no, January. Yeah. No, no, they, they just charged me. Sorry, February. I get it at the end of this month and then they won't charge me again until April. So we'll see how it's going by then. I just don't want to pay a big amount for this box. Um, we'll see if my February box comes in at a decent time. I'm I, I'm thinking about just skipping a month and seeing how it goes. If the February box comes in on time and then the December box is the only one I'm having trouble with, then I might just skip the month and continue on from um, April. So we'll see. Anyways, the January loot crates. When you open the box... Keep kidding. I take this off of uh, Nerdy Noob. I watch her a lot. When you open the box, this is what you're going to see. Plus the t-shirt, which we're going to just put back here. And then, hopefully you saw something. The first item is obviously nothing I'm interested in. Big surprise. Uh, Westworld. Dolores and Arnold. Whoever the heck that is. I have no idea. Sorry, I don't know. Maybe I need to make this bigger. Oh, yeah, there we go. Anyways, this says it's uh, an adult toy. Jay Salvador has been pulling on heartstrings with his super emo friends line of art since 2009. Loot Crate has partnered with Salvador to create exclusive figural renditions of his drawings and paintings. Super emo scenes, drawing inspiration from a pivotal scene in season one of Westworld. Dolores and Arnold are recreated here, maintaining the heavy emotions of the moment. Okay, well, I'm not going to open that, but it's apparently some sort of drawings or something. Anyways, next. Next we have, ooh, something I am going to keep. This is the X-Files Circle of Truth. And this looks like it might be a wallet. I, think it's I love X-Files, guys. And my phone case right now is my wallet. But I might be tempted to use this because this is... Oh, nice. Look. Special Agent Dana Scully. So that is awesome. And then here you've got the... Uh, X-Files card. So, oh, oh, hold on. This is an entire deck of cards, guys. So, you know what? Hold on. We are going to open this one. Um, I'm not opening the other one because I'm probably going to get rid of it. But I am going to open this one. Oh, you've got Scully, which you've already seen. And, oh, it shows all her scientific evidence on the back. And then Mulder. Oops, sorry, guys. And then his scientific stuff. I don't know if you can read that or not. It doesn't look like it on my end. And then just... Oh, some of these are doubles. Okay, so you got this one. With some stuff on the back. And then you have three of these ones. Uh, oh. They might all be different. Oh. 
yeah, anyways, you get the idea. They all have different things on the front and different things on the back. Like these first few cards say Circle of Truth, five points per circle formed of four UFOs surrounding any area. A UFO can apply to more than one circle of UFOs. I really think this might be a card game. The player with the most cigarettes loses one point for each cigarette their opponent has. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I guess that's good for non-smokers. You don't lose any points. Four points per single gun directly between two lab areas. And then for Mulder, it says, I want to believe Mulder may select one alien in his case and treat the area it occupies as any area he would like. Oh. And Scully says, scientific evidence, Scully may select one microscope in her case and treat the area it occupies as any area she would like. Yeah. So it looks like these might be part of some sort of card game. So it's not a wallet, but if I put it like this, I can pretend I'm Dana Scully. Even though I look nothing like her, but whatever. So that that's pretty freaking awesome. I'm definitely keeping that. And I'll look up the I'll look up the game later. Next we have like the other thing. Like a pair of socks. Oh, they're Harry Potter. That's what I said, but I like that. So there you have the sorting hats. And then we have Fox here and the Gryffindor thing there, so that that's pretty awesome. We're gonna go ahead and open these guys because I'm gonna keep these two. So yeah, these are the socks. Chose the line and the, uh, I think that Scabbers and then the snake, Fox. Um. Not sure what that is. And then of course the sorting hat, which is eh, they're pretty cool. So I'm gonna definitely keep these and I'll, I'll wear them. Those are wicked cool. And then we have the pin, which is Discover Westworld. I've never even heard of Westworld, but feel free to tell me something about Westworld in the comments if you'd like. And this is a spoiler card. Before we do that, we have the white shirt, which I hate, which is fine because it's not a shirt that I don't think we're going to plan on keeping anyway. It's Rick and Morty. Oh, Rick and Morty. Oh, okay. I don't really watch Rick and Morty. I've heard of Rick and Morty. Um, it's a, and this is a size large, right? Yeah, it's a size large. Wow, that looks bigger than all of our other shirts. It actually looks like a large or an extra large. <laughs> Looks yeah. really big compared to our other shirts. Our other shirts always seem kind of small for larges. But, uh, yeah, so that's where that's a Rick and Morty shirt. So we got the exclusive Rick and Morty t-shirt. The Westworld Super Emo Scenes Diorama figure. Oh, it's Diorama figure, guys, not cards. Um, based off the card, I guess that's what it's supposed to look like. Like, you won't really see it, but it looks like it's probably a couple of figures on a box or something. The Harry Potter socks. The X-Files card game, the Westworld maze pin, I already said the t-shirt, so yeah, this one's theme was Discover, so, uh, so I'm half impressed and half unimpressed, but I mean, you can't get everything you want in one box, so it, it's a pretty good box, especially considering I know December's not my cup of tea, um, I already went and seen it on a nerdy noob site because I was wondering whether or not I had just gotten the box in and just mistaken it thinking maybe I didn't get the December box in although that didn't seem likely at all to me um but no I definitely did not get it in um it looked like there was a Guardians of the Galaxy calendar. I don't really remember everything in it, but I think there was a Guardians of the Galaxy calendar, which I will probably keep. Um, I'd say spoiler, but at this point, we're doing January's box. If you haven't seen December's box, then go on Nerdy Noob's site and go check out her boxing, because her unboxing rocks way better than mine. <laughs> she has, like, a very busy life, and yet still somehow always seems to be full of energy. Um... 
so that is it for January's box. Uh, at the end of this month, we already did your box, right? Yeah, we did your box. So at the end of this month, we should have the Wizarding box and my February box with the way they're shipping things out. Wouldn't surprise me if they come at the same time. So we will see and, uh, yeah, we'll see and I will keep you updated on what I'm doing in regards to Loot Crate. For sure I'm skipping a month and then we'll see what happens from there because I, I don't know. I mean, January box seems to have come in a decent, decent time. Normally I get it just before the end of the month. I'm actually just getting it a week into February. So it's a little late, but definitely nothing like December. So we'll see how February's does. Uh, I don't expect to get it until like the beginning of March or something because, well, February's a short month. Plus, I don't know what it is with this whole thing with customs and crap. Somehow, I think they ship it at the same time as everybody else. When do they ship them out? I think the 10th or something. And then it takes like three weeks. Like even this box took two weeks to get from Vancouver to Toronto. Like, seriously. Over two weeks, in fact. I think it was closing in on three weeks by the time I freaking got it. It didn't take hardly anything. It took like a week to get from Loot Crate to Vancouver. And then the whole time was sitting here waiting for it to get from Vancouver to Toronto. So, I don't know what's up with that. Anyways, um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.